bathroom mishaps. Hi and welcome to another Monday segment brought to you by Free Life Food where reading labels is optional. I'm co-founder Matt Stanley. Today I'm going to talk more about the revolution and the bathroom mishaps we have and one that I specifically had here in my home city. Um, We'll start with my story which is uh, I had some new food that was gluten-free and I'm not sure if that's what caused the stomach problems or I've been having a lot of trouble with tea lately. Sweet tea's all right, but the unsweetened tea and some of the loose leaf tea has been really bugging my stomach. Um, so I went to a new place and was trying some tea. I've been drinking a lot of mate and doing really good with it, so I tried to do some loose leaf mate. And... My stomach started hurting, so we were in a uh, clothing store, and I went to go use the restroom, and the men's restroom was kind of dirty, so I waited for them to finish in the family restroom, and once the lady was done, I went to go use the restroom, and she started yelling at me in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. Um, I know a little bit, so I was like, Stabian, Stabian, you know, it's okay. And just kind of ignored her and went in and shut the door. Um, and after she was done banging on the door and yelling at me, she finally went away. Um, I proceeded to do my thing. Um, for you celiacs, you probably understand that, who have the more stomach issues. Um, I don't get sick or have projectile vomiting or anything I just it's all bowels so um I was doing my thing and someone tried to come in and I said you know hang on someone's in here and oh sorry no problem they're very polite um but then the cleaning lady came back and decided to pound on the door and go crazy on me and I kept telling her uno momento which is just a minute, you know, and she's like, no, uno momento, and just started yelling at me in Spanish and getting all carried away and really brought a lot of attention to me, what I was doing, and, you know, the fact that I I hate how much I have to go into the, to the restrooms when I have attacks and deal with diarrhea or stomach pain or, you know, any of that stuff. Um, I've had pain bad enough before where I could barely walk. I thought I was going to pass out at work. And then I got to drive across town to find a bathroom because down here we have so many bums, they keep everything locked. So it was, it's a very embarrassing thing. I I hate doing it. I hate letting people see me do, you know, go to the bathroom or anything. I don't like to talk about it. Um, And I have this Hispanic cleaning lady banging on the door screaming in Spanish. Um, Now, usually I I put up with people in general. I'm not going to report you. I'm not going to say anything. You mess up my food, I'll either eat it or just throw it away and pay for it anyway. I never speak up. I never speak out. But I called all of you autoimmune people out to stand up, to, to be heard, to share to do all that, and that's why I'm sharing and letting you know I did stand up. It was against every fiber in my being. I just wanted to leave once I was done, but instead I did. I got a manager, and I told him, look, I have an autoimmune disease where I get attacks, and I have to go to the bathroom to take care of stuff. It's embarrassing. I don't even like having to deal with it. I don't like the fact that I have to tell you about this, but I don't appreciate your cleaning lady going in and while I'm in there, banging on the door, screaming at me in Spanish because she doesn't like that I'm using a bathroom she cleaned. It's total BS. I was very angry, and he said they had bad experience with that cleaning company. They were going to write an email. Apparently, she's been kicked out of a store before because of her her attitude and, and 
how she treats the customers. Um, so I did. I spoke up. And it's part of what I'm calling you guys to do. What I talked about last Monday. Autoimmune revolution. We need to start this revolution. Don't sit at home. Don't hide. Speak up. Share your stories. When I go to these expos and people tell me their daughter's projectile vomit violently to where they're worried they're going to go dock to the ER or die um, because they had a little contamination from, from gluten or you know the side effects of Hashimoto's or HAE or, or diabetes when your blood sugar goes too low or too high the way you feel. Sometimes it's the same that you get that heavy feeling. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's just the brain fog. Uh, you don't know what side effects you're going to get. Most of mine are usually abdominal pain, weakness, lightheadedness, nausea, whatever, stuff like that. I get the basic stuff. Uh, I know people say, you know, you're lucky, but try having it hurt so much you can barely walk or breathe or anything and you're passing out from the pain for 30 years because that's what I've been doing. I get I'm lucky because mine's more straightforward in the guts and I don't have all the other stuff and it wasn't hidden under something else that they couldn't figure out. And I, I feel bad for those of you who have gone through those things, but nobody's side effects are less than the others. Nobody's attacks or triggers or anything are less than the other person's. 10 pounds is 10 pounds for everybody. My 10 pounds is 10 pounds for me, and it might not be for you, but yours is for you and might not be for me. But we're all dealing with our triggers and our attacks and our side effects, and it sucks. But I did. I spoke out. I am changing. I feel myself every day, the way I talk, the way I do stuff. Every day I'm changing. People think it's a joke or that it's not offensive. Someone sent in Kick, one of the groups I'm in in Kick, sent a video of an old lady calling it glutton free and cussing and going on. And I said, This is very offensive. People die from allergies and not being able to do the diets. So we need to take this stuff serious. So, again, I hope you pay attention to these videos, that you listen. Autoimmune revolution, hashtag that. Be a part of the family of autoimmune people, whether it's rheumatoid arthritis or allergies or any of the things I've listed before. It's a very wide umbrella. And a lot of them are very horrible to live with. So please, again, join us in the revolution. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Check out what we pin on Pinterest. Uh, if we get a bigger following on Google+, Plus, we'll, we'll try and po post there more often. If you want to talk to us, we're on GroupMe, Line, Kick. You know, join, join the revolution. Be a part of us. Be with us. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's an inspiration. Speak out. Don't just sit there. Be a part of the family, a part of the revolution. Please share this video on your phones, your email, any of your social media. Copy the link, send it to anyone you know. Share this. If you haven't subscribed, I really, really would appreciate if you would subscribe. The bigger our family grows, the more pull we have with companies to test more foods and to start making a noise for the autoimmune community and getting things changed to make our lives better. So subscribe, hit the little bell notification so that you get notified when I do these videos on Mondays and Fridays. Um, I'm still working on vlogging, trying to figure out how I want to do that, and we're getting ready to move in the beginning of November. I'll actually have my own office to do different and better things with these videos. So look forward to November and December getting some different videos from us. Hopefully this wasn't too slow or boring for anyone. I hope you just heard the message, which is stand up. 
Speak out and join the revolution, the autoimmune revolution. Be a part of the family. Like this video so that people know it's a good video. And we will see you after you check this person out on Twitter on Friday.